today we are going to take a look at another example and use of 4D BIM in a construction project. On my screen I have opened up Synchro 4D Pro which is one of the mainstream 4D BIM tool. Few of the peculiar thing that you need to understand which is also similar to a standard planning tool like MSP or P6 is that it has activities and it has Gantt on the right and one important thing that makes it different from the traditional planning tool is that a 3D window that it has at the bottom of its screen. Now here on our screen we have our activities and these activities are for steel erection sequence. These activities go all the way from sequence 1 right till sequence 17. Now as I scroll through these activities you can see here at the bottom of the screen the steel elements that have been linked to the particular sequence get highlighted and that is important because it gives you and the team a good understanding of what is the steel sequence uh, that comes under that particular activity. Let's play something called 4D animation. Once I click on this play button our building starts to get erected over here. The activity starts to appear and its relative steel element starts to appear here on the screen. And this is a clear explanation and understanding of how a building will be erected uh, as per our plan. This will give the team to understand that at this particular day between these duration this is the steel sequence that was or that is planned to be erected so if i just select this sequence 13 you can see the sequence 13 steel elements are highlighted over here similarly when i click on sequence 14 sequence 14 elements are highlighted over here if i just go and click on this play button you can see the focus time keeps running ahead now we have sequence 15 that is being erected right now. So go ahead, the focus time will jump ahead and now we have sequence 16 and sequence 17 that is being installed at this particular day as per our plan. So this rewinding, we have the entire control over the time uh, over here. So, if I just pull this and go ahead, you can see we can play the entire erection sequence under our control and as per our requirement. We can just, we can play it faster, we can play it slower, slower. you can stop and at any particular time, we can just cycle through activities and see what is the steel erection sequence that was planned to install on this day right so let's do a detailed study of our uh, 4d model now if you take a look at the activities that's something really important we need to understand about these activities now if you can see we have the activities going in a cascading forms and it looks like they are in some sort of start to start relationship in between them which means that at we are saying at particular after a particular duration the next sequence erection will be uh, starting or that is how it is planned to start one more thing you need to understand or you might have noticed is that at any particular time we have just two steel sequence erection going on. Over here it is this one and halfway through halfway through we have this getting installed. And once sequence 2 is complete we have sequence 4 that is just starts getting installed. And once sequence 3 is complete, we have sequence 5 that gets installed. And this is because, and this is important because we are trying to represent team flow over here. The erection team that will be on site, we are trying to represent their flow 
on the construction site another thing you have you can notice is that uh, the erection process goes from right to left so if you i just run this again you can see at no particular time any random sequence over here will just pop up over here and it will say that that i am getting installed on this particular day we have a strict way we have mentioned a strict uh, you can say a guideline or a workflow that we have decided for the team saying that this is the sequence flow that they need to follow there is a right to left direction and two sequences at a time if i just play this we have sequence 1 that is being installed and almost 40 to 50% of the erection sequence is complete we have the sequence 2 that is being installed right now if i just keep going ahead once the sequence 1 get is it's completed the team will now jump from sequence the sequence 1 team will now jump to sequence 3 at any particular time like i said we have two steel sequence that is being installed on site if i just run a little more ahead you can see once sequence 2 is completed we have sequence 4 that is being installed so here again we have sequence 3 and then sequence 4 that is being installed i just go ahead once sequence 3 is complete we have sequence 5 that is being installed so if i just escape you can see these two are showing as green color which means that these two are getting installed at this particular time going ahead again we have two sequences that are highly activated again we have two sequences that are getting activated we have two sequences getting activated seems like there is a holiday if i just go ahead a little bit you can see again we have two sequences that are active at any particular time which means that we have two teams of steel erectors that will be always available on site at these two instances doing the steel installation work if by any chance you have any questions that uh, why do we have a uh, steel sequence 1 as these elements and then why do we have sequence 2 as one on top of it and that is because in the sequence 1 we have said that we will have these double height columns that will be installed along with these beams and then once these columns are installed we only then we will have the sequence 2 beams that will be installed because how the sequence two beams will be installed one if you don't have any column supporting column from them and again once we have the next sequence coming up you can see again we are following the same um basic um erection process we will have the double height columns that are being installed which will support the steel members that will be around at this height without these columns we won't be able to install the steel members on the side so once this column are installed we have will have the steel beams at this level getting installed and this is the work flow that the entire sequence follows we have the columns and then the low level beams getting installed and then once that is done we have the beams at above level getting installed If I just go ahead you can see we are following the steam erection process over here we have the columns and then we have the beam above it getting installed we have the columns and beam above it getting installed right do you understand we just understood a steel erection sequence workflow in this couple of minutes this show you this shows you the power of 4d gone are the days of the gan charts where you just print out a 2d sheet showing the bar charts and the baseline charts and the baseline line that shows up on the screen we have a 3d model that is linked with the dates which will help you analyze your sequence which will help you analyze your progress which will help you analyze your delays and so on in our next video we are going to take a look at 
the use of a crane for our erection sequence so we are going to understand how by adding crane into your 4d you can give the team a better understanding of uh, use of a crane in your project and how that can affect your cost for the project thank you for watching until next time